the anonymous-looking penal colony number 14, the new home of one of Russia's best-known prisoners. Nadia Tolokonikova is the younger of the two jailed members of the protest group Pussy Riot. The prison is 300 miles from Moscow in a remote, desolate region full of camps that once formed part of Stalin's gulag system. Inside these white buildings, the prisoners, all women, sleep in open dormitories. Murderers, petty criminals and businesswomen who've fallen foul of officials, all mixed in together. Back in August, Nadia Tolokonikova smiled as she was sentenced to two years in prison. She had feared a longer sentence. But now she's arrived at the penal colony, her husband says she's realising the reality of the harsh conditions she faces. She's already been sent to uh, a couple of labour jobs where she was breaking concrete. So they are, the prison authorities are slowly putting her to work. But so far she seems fine. No abuse, no uh, insults. Everything's basically quite acceptable and formal so far. <laughs> Nadia Tolokonikova's crime was this dance in Moscow's main cathedral. Pussy Riot insisted it was a political protest against Vladimir Putin, but she was convicted of hooliganism, motivated by religious hatred. <laughs> Katya Samutsevich was originally jailed with Nadia Tolokonikova, but was freed on appeal earlier this month. She says she's concerned about the health of her fellow protester. <laughs> It's very cold there. People are freezing and they are not allowed to wear their warm clothes. They can only wear the prison uniforms, which are not designed for such terrible cold. This week, people in Moscow have been remembering the hundreds of thousands of victims of Stalin's purges of the 1930s. No one is saying that the current clampdown is in any way similar to that. But the Pussy Riot case is an uncomfortable echo of a much darker time in Russia's history. Daniel Sanford, BBC News, Moscow.